hey guys it's me Talha. so in this quick video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create custom wall mount handrails in revit before i get started i would like to suggest you check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my revit advanced courses as well as you can check out my patreon to get all my revit project files all the links are in the description now let's get started so here i'm in revit and as you can see i have already opened this project uh, which i uh, created in my previous video if you haven't watched that yet I, I suggest you check that out before uh, watching this video anyway first let's create a section box here so i'm just going to select the stairs and then press bx on the keyboard to create the section box and now let's create a wall mount handrail here so before that we need to add a railing to this staircase so to add the railing you just need to go here in the railing then click this drop down and select place on stair and we can change the railing type here let's select handrail pipe and then you just need to click on the staircase there you go we got the railing here but uh, we don't need on this side because we already uh, have a glass railing here so i'm going to delete this one and we're just going to edit this railing here so let's select this railing then edit type duplicate let's call it wall mount handrail okay and first we want to remove the railings so just click here then click on the first one and delete just repeat the same with the other railings here as well just delete all of these and then click ok then you uh, we need to remove the balusters as well just click edit and here you need to click on drop down and select none repeat the same here as well just remove all the balusters and then click ok now if i scroll down a bit you'll see the top rail parameters so we need to uh, edit the top rail parameters here so before that first we want to click ok and you will notice we got this circular uh, railing here now we want to create a custom profile for this railing so let's go to file new family here we need to go to english imperial if you are working in metric units you can uh, just uh, load a profile from this english folder I'm working in imperial units so i'm going to open the english imperial folder and just look for the profile template here here we have it let's open this up and now we can just use line and create our profile for the railing so first i'm going to create a three inch line here then two inch and then just create another one here like so now let's select this one and i will make it one inch so we got a single uh, line here for our profile now let's offset these lines so go to create select line and then pick lines and give the offset here i'm going to give 0.1 inch offset and just uh, select these lines here now let's use dr and trim this line and then go to create again and just draw a line here as well as here now we can just trim it so we have created this profile for the handrail now let's save this family go to file save as family i'm going to save that here let's call it handrail save and load this into our project let's select this railing edit type and in the top rail you need to click here and it will show some, some more parameters for the top rail so first thing which we need to do here is to change the profile we just need to select the one which we have just created here we have it handrail select that and here we have the material parameter for the railing as well I'm not going to apply any materials right now so i will just click ok you can see the change here click ok again ok 
okay so i think we need to flip the profile so let's go back to the family editor here and select this profile mirror make sure copy is unchecked and just mirror it from the middle of this line here like so now let's load this family back into the project override the existing version there you go got this cool looking wall mount handrail here so that's how easy it is to create wall mount handrails in Revit. So that's it for this video. In the next part, we will render this scene in Endscape. So stay tuned for that. I will see you guys in the next video.